Okay, so I'm doing a video on uh, Windows 8. I, I'm just doing a video on uh, how to generally lose, uh, use it <clears throat> so that, uh, so, I'm sorry I had my headphones on, but, uh, <clears throat> so you can use it more better, so, um, most people don't are, are unfamiliar with Windows 8, and there's a lot of features, and <clears throat> there's a lot of things you can do with it, um, more so than XP. If you're still running XP, it's time to upgrade. Um, so anyways, uh, on to the video. Um, first of all, you still got your taskbar like Windows 7, and... Uh, how you got your icons down here, they do the same thing that they've always done, except where this is different. And when you right click it, um, you'll see that uh, it has all the major things in here that you're gonna probably use. Uh, the File Explorer is one that I always open up and it just gives you access right to here. Um, and I, I like going to it like that because you can use this from anywhere the Windows icon, so instead of going right here to the taskbar, I'm used to just going to here um, because it has everything here. You got everything here to do anything you need to do within the system. And then uh, if you wanna, if you wanna go to the start menu, you just left click it and you're in the start menu and this is the start menu <clears throat> basically um, this is what you get uh, a whole uh, mess of things here uh, going on uh, but I've organized mine um, that's what some people may be thinking a whole mess of things because that's what I thought at first but uh, it's simple you get um, the basics at first. I've moved things around and I've changed things a little bit. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. <clears throat> so on here, oh, you can make any tile, almost any tile wide. And uh, what you're going to do is resize. And that's the first thing you need to do is just organize your tiles and get a feel for where you're at. And uh, that worked for me. So you can either... You know, choose whatever you want to choose right here, and uh, and it works really well to resize everything first. Once you've done that, um, and you there's you know, some programs you don't like, like uh, say you don't play Xbox and you want to unpin it, um, the games icon. Uh, so you would go to unpin from the start, and it's that simple. You just left click it, unpin from start, and it's gone. This is a store. I like keeping the store on here. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, the, sto uh, the store has a bunch of free items. That's how I got this clock. Um, the, with the Movie Maker's uh, Windows Live Essentials Movie Maker uh, video editor or whatever. Uh, I had to download that separate because Windows 8 don't come with it. Um, and I've added some programs from down here. Uh, Basically, all you do is left click it and just do, um, or uh, see this one don't have it. Just go right here and pin the start, and it'll pin the start, and it'll be right back up. Uh, you, the the way it works is uh, you click here or right back here, and it'll take take you right back up here. Either way it works. Um, as far as uh, the store goes, the store has lots of things in it. Um, as you can see, I was already browsing the store for you could get music, anything. Uh, they got uh, they got uh, here's home. Um, it just tells you basically. What's going on here? Uh, top paid. Uh, I don't know if I would pay for any of it, but um, 
some of it's all right, I guess. If it, if it's it really appeals to you, I'd pay for it. But um, most of it's free, and you just come over here and uh, to the very end, and you'll see that there's lots of things here that you can get into. Um, so yeah, it's it's cool. There's um, here's the top free uh, on this one. Uh, just lots of things you can do here in the store. It's a great. Uh, it's it's well. It's improved a lot from uh, Windows 7 and X and Vista. Um, so you've seen that, and then Maps. It's it, it's just a simple version of Google Maps. It isn't uh, too complex, and uh, it don't it don't tell you. Uh, where the, the eateries are and all that good stuff and give you the street views but uh, it's a map nevertheless and and if you need to get somewhere and you know how to read a map it's it's good it's it's all right oh yeah I guess it does show uh, where eateries are at um, and banks and stuff like that it depends on how much you scroll um, you don't get street views on here uh, I know that for a fact because I messed around with it and I couldn't get any street views. Um, but it's all right for what it is. It's good. Um, and I just always click in here. If you always see me going in here, it's that simple. That's why I always use it. Um, the the Windows the Windows icon. Um, uh, there's a lot of great things in here. Um, with uh, this right here uh, just goes your webcam. Um, and I'll bring it up, but I don't. I don't, don't want to ruin my recording, so I'm not going to touch that. Uh, here's your photos. Um, I only got some pictures in there, but the library um, is like that. It's just. It just it depends on where you put your photos. Uh, I like this right here, Xbox music a lot um, it, this is uh, one of the radio stations that I got um, you, you can pick a radio station uh, so you just go over here to start a station and uh, type an artist and you'll get you'll get uh, music and uh, and there's various artists within uh, artists they, they mix them up and there's not very many commercials so it's great music it's easy to listen to high quality uh, Everything you'd look for in, in music. Um, if you've ever been to YouTube, it's not as quality. You hear some rippling and and the back of the videos. There's a lot of a lot of distortion. But uh, and here you get the you get uh, clear uh, crystal clear music and everything sounds good. I got the 64 bit on here, not the 32 bit. And the difference between both those operating systems is that uh, the 64 bit. Uh, Gives you a little bit more uh, clarity, um, and it, in your digital display and and uh, and your and the programs you use, uh, it just gives a. I think that's what I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. The 32 bit is for uh, is for systems that can't handle all that. So uh, 64 bits for somebody that has like four gigabytes of RAM at least um, is running a multi, uh, uh, a multiple core processor. Uh, and that's what I picked and I just installed it to my computer it cost $110 at Walmart uh, for the operating system um, which wasn't too bad um, I'm, I'm really uh, thrilled with the system it, I mean, as you can see um, there's a lot of things you can do one thing I noticed on here on the fitness one health and fitness is you can ease, they have a a tracker um, for your health um, to, and it helps you stay healthy and and everything's here uh, see right here uh, track your diet check for your symptoms track your health uh, and and here the I'll tell you exactly how to do it And uh, so basically, that's it on that. And it's really that's a really helpful app for 
especially Americans, because we, we were known as like the fattest nation on earth, so um, we had the most fat people, so uh, or one of them. So you, that's a good thing to do. The news is, 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 I haven't really checked it out too much, but it's okay, I guess. Um, I usually go to uh, a website to check for news, like Yahoo or something like that. So I'm not really into the news one, but it's good to have. Um, um, it takes a while to load up, and but once it's loaded up, it goes over here. That's another thing that I was going to say is that uh, once you, once it's once it's loaded up, it comes over here on the side, and um, it's on the taskbar too. So once it's loaded up, it's ready to go, and it'll start. It'll come right in just like how you see it. Um, usually, people will just leave it open, and it won't it won't drain your computer, um, you know, for its resources. Uh, unless you have tons of uh, these uh, these programs open, um, so yeah, it's 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 great. It's really great. Um, I connected my accounts uh, through uh, through uh, people. Um, so and and this is my user, um, and uh, basically right here. Um, you can uh, see all your social stuff um, right on here and you don't have to go anywhere it's all right there um, what else can I say uh, I think I've covered everything the weather is cool I like the weather on here and you can see that very clearly and all you do is change the weather is uh, when you get on here it will uh, just click on it and uh, it'll load up and uh, it'll let you choose your location um, see it's not loaded up so it takes a while at first but um see uh, Denver Colorado um, Hourly forecast, maps, historical weather. I mean, does it get any better than that? You need to get the operating system. If if you haven't got it, you got to get it. And look at this. Probably this is the same way. I have, I don't know much about stocks. All I know is that you got to have some money to buy them to begin with. And uh, and that's something that I haven't had in my life yet, but. Um, as you can see, um, it's, it's probably just as informative as any of these other tiles on here. <clears throat> so, um, if you want to go back to desktop, it just right here, just click on it and it'll take you right back to your desktop. Um, it's really that simple, folks. Uh, you need, you need to upgrade Windows XP isn't supported any, but anymore by Microsoft it was getting hard for me I was running XP I've been running XP since 07 and uh, I mean I wasn't running it since it came out because I wasn't into computers at the moment um, from that time but uh, XP has really was really good software until a certain point until uh, you know, with all these upgrades and stuff, it's really smooth. All this stuff is smooth. If you have the right amount of RAM and you got the right uh, um, uh, the right processor, none of this will be a problem for you. You can do all this no problem. Um, I I got uh, Norton on here. Um, another thing I would like to mention: if you're going to buy the software, um, your cable company should offer something like Norton or McAfee or some, or the software you might have might have McAfee on it or something like that you need to go to the go to your uh, your cable company your phone company's uh, website and download the security software you can, you can search it in Google um, too so you can search in Google and say um, this for for instance um, secure uh, uh, security for uh, CenturyLink or, or Comcast. Those are my those are my companies, and they both 
on my side of of uh, the U.S. Um, I know on the East Coast they got Cox, um, and I'm pretty sure they got some kind of antivirus for your computer. But you know, antivirus for CenturyLink or something like that, and you, and or something like that, and you'll find what you're looking for. Um, I'm gonna end the video on that note. Make sure that you're protected on your account. Make sure that you use you use a generator to make passwords for your computer whatever anything you use on the website anything if you're just starting off or if you or if you're too new to all this stuff or if you, you or you've been doing this for a while you need to generate a password and keep it on a USB stick or keep it written down and keep it in your wallet somewhere um, and uh, it will really deter thieves. They can't. They can't crack those kind of passwords. Uh, and it's hard if a friend tries to steal your password. They're like, "What the hell is this?" There's uppercase and lowercase letters, and they're all over the place. Uh, there, it's it's going to take them a while to try stealing your information. Um, then, then you just making sure it was uh, safe like that. So make make sure you use a generator and uh, keep your Wi-Fi locked up and. And uh, and uh, if you don't know anything about Wi-Fi, uh, make sure that you um, have the right settings so nobody's uh, stealing your Wi-Fi or or um, trying to view things on on your on your um, account. Um, so yeah, you, you just want to keep your your whole system clean and running well, and uh, and. You don't need a cleaner with uh, these uh, these antiviruses. They have a lot of them have their own um, tune-ups built into them. So, um, you know that's that's all I got to say. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe.